Dad Automation, your automation partner. Lesson number 10, Modbus Communication. In this lesson you are learning about, what is Modbus RTU Communication? What is CM1241 Module? How to configure CM1241 Module? Practical example of Power Analyzer's data reading. Consider RS232 data communication. Our previous lesson you have learned about how to communicate with weighing scale to read weight data in industrial setting. Where? Point-to-point -point data transmission was experienced and only one module could be connected to PLC port. For instance, if we need to connect many devices into PLC, RS232 system would be very complicated and we have to assign many ports. Practically this method is not cost-effective due to PLC limitations and more cable requirement. As well as acceptable distance between DTE and DCE is limited and data transfer rate also limited in this system. Therefore, RS485 data communication system is extensive used in industrial environment to communicate with many devices. Modbus RTU is one protocol, which is using in this communication system. In Modbus network, PLC is called as the master. It is the leader of the communication system to read data from other communication devices. These connected communication devices are known as slave devices. The beauty of this Modbus RTU network is, it can connect altogether 247 slave devices in one pair of cable. Therefore, PLC need only one port to communicate with 247 devices. What is CM1241 module? There are two types of CM1241 devices available with Siemens S712 Houndred PLC. One type is communication board type. This type can be directly fixed on top of the PLC. Therefore, no additional space is needed. Second type is extension module type. This module must be attached to the left side bus port in the PLC, just like RS232 module. Therefore, additional space in the control cabinet is required to install this module. Consider S7200 PLC, CPU1214 module. Normally, this PLC can handle up to four separate RS485 modules at one time. One is communication board, and other three are communication modules. Therefore, four separate Modbus RTU networks can separately be handled by this PLC at the same time. So theoretically large numbers of Modbus RTU module can communicate with this PLC. How to configure CM1241 module in TIA portal environment. In TIA portal, port configuration can be said as given here. Baud rate, parity, data bits in, stop bit can be set according to the device's configuration in the RTU network. These parameters are not statical, as they can be changed at running time as wish. In TIA portal, to initiate a Modbus communication system, two main function must be called. First one, Modbus communication load. This is the initiating function to start the Modbus communication. Port address, bit transfer rate and. Parity option is set at this stage. Mainly PLC can act as communication master as well as slave in Modbus network. But in this example PLC act as the master device. Therefore, second function, Modbus master is called to act the PLC as master unit. Changing the parameters of this function, we can communicate with many devices and data addresses. Let's consider our practical example. PLC communicate with two power analyzers via Modbus network. Here PLC act as master of the network. Address 001 and address 002 are given as slave addresses for these two power analyzers. Wiring connection of this network is limited only for two in. Both devices can be simply connected with the same loop. 
A 120 ohm termination resistor should be included at the end of the network to eliminate any noises. By considering the data sheet of Power Analyzer, let's get four data blocks in the unit, which we can read through Modbus connection. The function code for data reading is F04. These are the addresses of data which stored in the module related to the parameters list. All data has same data length of two words. We call the Modbus master function in TIA portal environment to read data in those addresses. Mode is the function code. In this example we use 4. These data addresses are called one by one when reading the relevant parameters in the PLC program. Consider the Modbus master function. MB address is 001. Mode is 04. Data address is 30007. Data length is 12. End. Pointer is Modbus data. When call this function, six numbers of word data will be stored in PLC data pointer. Please refer our Modbus communication part 2 video to get knowledge of how to make PLC program to communicate with two power analyzers. Thank you for watching Dad Automation YouTube channel. To acknowledge our newest videos please subscribe the channel.